Cramster is a brand that not all of you will have heard of before right until the point that Rhinox acquired it a little while ago. I was a little bit familiar with it in the sense that one of my friends has a Cramster riding jacket that generally worked out pretty well for him. So what's happened now is the Rhinox has acquired Cramster and all the Cramster gear is now branded as Cramster by Rhinox, says it over there on the box. Cramster has a whole range of flux riding gear which has a jacket, I believe there's a pant as well and now they've come out with the boots. What's really interesting about the boots is that they seem to take all the riding gear boxes in the sense that they have all the required protection they are the correct size, they look pretty decent as well and they were only 6,000 rupees. Now since this is my previous riding boot, this is a BBG calf boot, it's completely ripped up. Do not use a riding boot until it gets to this point. I should have replaced it long ago but for various reasons I couldn't so I was just basically using this. I was in the market for a decent riding boot without having to break the bank. So I figured 6k is a good deal as any to just take a gamble on a new product. Well it wasn't really a gamble since it seemed like a pretty good deal and I also went to the Rhinox store in Mahim to test it out. So this is the boot. This is the Cramstuff Flux riding boot. I got it in tan brown. I think it looks pretty solid honestly. Looks like a nice rugged trekking boot. It could have come out of woodland or something like that as well. First thing I love, sole. Super grippy sole. You can walk around with this. The last boots I have, the calf boots, these are great for biking but the sole is completely flat because they're essentially a race style sport touring boot, something like that. So I'm happy that these have a sole that I can actually walk around with and I'm guessing this won't slip in the wet that much. This is a first impressions video. I've not used these yet. A uh, new video, once that has happened, will follow naturally. The design is honestly pretty simple and I'm not mad at that. At this price point, I think this is the best you could ask for. There's reinforced TPU toe protection at the back as well. There's heel protection. You've got some nice padding. It's not a very short boot. It's sort of mid length, something between a full size boot like this and a proper ankle length boot. I know boots do get taller than this if you have the tarmac adventure boots or something like that. But this is still a workable size. Yeah, honestly, pretty lightweight as well. A large amount of the weight is concentrated towards the bottom. The sole is very bulky and rugged. A shift guard at the front, accordion panel for stretch. It's made of leather, which they say is water resistant, but that they said for the last boot as well. So just be careful while using these in the rain. Leather conditioner always helps on your back from a ride. Just dab it dry, condition it so that the leathers don't break apart. Of course, that will only help to a certain degree. But yes, leather is vulnerable to water damage. Closure system, pretty standard. You have a Velcro and then a nice flap here which covers the zip. Yeah, yeah. Much easier to do when you're wearing the boot. And a nice liner on the inside to slide your foot into. Also an orthopedic a gel sole at the bottom which feels very nice to my hands. Nice, bouncy and firm, not too squishy either. So it is ticking all the right boxes. My only question is how the f is it so cheap? I mean, I'm glad it's not expensive. And it's a Rhinox brand, so that comes with a certain amount of credibility as well, of course. I do have a certain amount of Rhinox products. I do think they make very good gear. But after testing these in urban situations and tours and some Mumbai Pune trips, which I do quite a lot, I'll be able to give you more details on these. Overall, I think very cool product, very, very well priced like six grand is ridiculous value for something that's offering all these features of course don't do a one-to-one -one comparison with other boots that uh, have the same amount of features because the quality of the protection is going to vary so if your buddy comes just don't say oh your falco boots cost four times as much and have the same features no of course a falco boot is going to be in a league of its own the protectors the materials the durability everything is going to be world class whereas these are relatively untested products so far it was only launched a week ago i've seen a couple of people on instagram covering it as well i honestly really really like the look of these i could easily rock these all day if i'm on a ride or even just hanging around the city to be honest when i'm going to be on my bike a lot and the brown is super super cool why i like the brown there's actually another reason i'll show you so yeah, I have the Storm Evo 2 sand brown gloves and now I have the sand brown Cramster Flux boots as well. I think these will go very nicely together. But yeah, that's the Cramster Flux. If you want me to take a specific look at anything on the boot, if you have any questions about the product, drop it in the comments. If you would like me to keep my eye on anything specific while testing these out and wearing them, I'm going to be using these for a long time. This is basically my primary riding boot now. Uh, then let me know about that as well. And let me know why you think it's so inexpensive. Could be to do the brand is relatively new they're trying to undercut the competition anyhow i'm glad that it is at the price more accessible riding gear is never a bad thing and if these turn out to be as good as the spec sheet says we could have a winner on our hands anyways that's the cramster flux boots you're watching extra deva i'll see you in the next one